Collins represent Northern Mississippi. Woo! We in the house. That's all right. That's all right. Hey Amen. Cause, Cause we welcome you to the state of Tennessee. We welcome you to the state of Tennessee. And if I may coin a term from Chair Lady Rippey's organization, we are the first and the finest in the Church of God in Christ. That is Tennessee, and we welcome you to the Volunteer State. Yeah. Amen. Tennessee is in the house. Amen. We are going to move along in our service. We are grateful and glad that we are all here. We give honor and deference to our presiding bishop, to our general supervisor, Mother Barbara McCool Lewis. We give honor to our international youth president, President Nathaniel Green. Let's give God some praise for our leaders. Amen. Amen. To our international chair lady, chair lady Vandalin Kennedy, we have a legend in the house tonight. Let's give God praise for our southern regional president, Pastor Larry Lewis. Come on, southern region. We can give God some praise for this man, this great leader that we have. Amen. And also to our chair lady of the southern region, chair lady Rhonda Rippey. We give God praise for our leaders. We're going to move on in our service. We're going to have prayer by Elder Willie Morris, representing Arkansas first. Amen. Arkansas is in the house. Following that, we'll have our Old Testament scripture by Sister Addison Faith Pruitt, representing Alabama first. And our New Testament scripture by Jaden Ramsey, representing Louisiana East Second Jurisdiction. And following that, we'll have our praise and worship by our Southern Region Praise Team. Amen. In that order, let's give God some praise for them as they come at this time. My soul loves Jesus. My soul loves Jesus. My soul loves Jesus, hallelujah, bless his name, my soul, Hala. loves Jesus, my soul loves Jesus, yes Lord, my soul loves Jesus, bless his name, let the church say yes, come on Mason's children, Yes, yes, oh, yes, hey, hiya, yes, 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 Lord, hey, yes, Lord, my soul love ya, yes, Lord, oh, yes, Lord. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your outstretched hand of love towards us. We testify tonight, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, where would we be? We thank you for being with us. Thank you for being God and God all by yourself. There's nobody like you in all of the earth. You sit high, you look down low. You know our down sitting, you know our uprising. You know our thoughts are far off. You know our strength and you know our weaknesses. And Father, where we're weak, we pray that you make us strong tonight. In the mighty 
mighty name of Jesus we've come from far and near to this hollow grounds and we want you to have your way tonight in the name of Jesus we've heard stories of God we've heard testimonies tonight but we didn't come to this place for another story but we came for an experience tonight Holy Ghost of God rest on us rain on us in the name of Jesus yes Lord we want you to have your way yes Lord we need you yes Lord we can't make it without you yes Lord move by your spirit move by your power let that same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead let it quicken our mortal bodies tonight in the name of Jesus that when we leave this place we'll have the testimony that we've been in the presence of God God touch our leaders tonight touch our presiding bishop God give him a word from on high my father in the name of Jesus oh God touch Pastor Lewis Charlie Rippy, Pastor Green Charlie Kennedy in the name of Jesus God you see and you know and you know all things have thine own way have thine own way have thine own way have thine own way have thine yes Lord we magnify we glorify stop by here tonight God in the name of Jesus and we thank you for having your way we praise you for healing bodies we magnify for delivering confused minds in the name of Jesus and we thank you that we will not leave this place the same way that we came but oh God in Jesus name we honor you we avail ourselves to you we surrender to you we say yes to you and we thank you for your word tonight we thank you for moving by your spirit we thank you for having thine own way in Jesus name now church of God in Christ clap your hands all ye people and shout unto God come on clap and shout clap and shout clap and shout Clap and shout, and we get the glow. I will be reading from Psalm 100. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. I read you the word of the Lord. I'll be, reading, I'll be reading from Romans chapter 12, verses 1 through 2. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, yeah. by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. It be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Praise the Lord, everybody. Oh, come on and clap your hands and somebody celebrate Jesus in the room. Hallelujah. Come on, if you don't mind, just find somebody around you and shout, neighbor, let's go. Tell them, I don't know about you, I don't know about you. but I came to give the Lord praise. I came to give the Lord come praise. on, find one more person and shout, neighbor. neighbor. Say, I don't know about you, but I came to give the Lord praise. Come on and clap your hands like this. Come on. Oh, come on. It only works when we all do it. Clap, clap, clap. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Listen, God. 
God is great and greatly to be praised. Glory, glory to his name. God is great and greatly to be praised. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Come on, everybody. God is great. Say, God, God is, is great greatly to be and praised. Greatly to be praised. That's what he's done. Pick me up. Turn me around. Place my feet on the solid ground. That's what he's done. Touch my mind. That's what he's done. Heal my body. And that's what he's done. Gave me joy. That's what he's done. That's what he's done. That's what he's done. Hey, that's what he's done. He turned me around. That's what he's done. Gave me food. Hey, that's what he's done. That's what he's done. Hey, he saved me. He saved me. He saved me. He saved me. Did he save you? He saved me. He saved me. He saved me. He feel me, he feel me, he feel me, did he feel you, he feel me, he feel me, he feel me, with the Holy Ghost, with the Holy Ghost, with the Holy Ghost, with the Holy Ghost, did he feel you, with the Holy Ghost, with the Holy Ghost, Oh, with the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. everybody clap those hands. Oh, come on. I need to see somebody in the room. Put your hands together. Yeah. Oh, come on. Does anybody got the Holy Ghost tonight? Yeah. He feel me. He feel me. He feel me. He feel me. He, me. he took his time. And he feel me, 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 he with the Holy Ghost, hey, with the Holy Ghost, the cinematic God, I get the Holy Ghost, hey, fire, 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 hey, everybody clap those, hallelujah, oh, come on, this time clap your hands, and open up I 
get joy when I think about what he's done for me. I get joy when I think about what he's done for me. I get joy when I think about what he's done for me. I get joy when I think about what he's done for me. Come on, clap your hands when I think of the goodness of Jesus. Somebody shout it, all he's done for me. My soul cries, hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands one more time and give the Lord a shout of praise in the room. Hallelujah. If you really love the Lord tonight, come on and stretch your hands in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, come on. We came with one purpose tonight. We came with one unified agenda, and that is to give the name of the Lord glory tonight. Thank you, Jesus. So as we shift now from giving the Lord praise for the things that he's done, now simply worshiping him for who he is. Come on, lift up your voice in the room. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on. That's it. Bless him. Bless him. Bless him with the fruit of your lips tonight. Come on, we honor you. Come on, we honor you. We extol you. We declare that there's no one like our God. Come on, give him glory. Glory, glory. That's it. Wonderful Savior. Matchless King, we honor you tonight. Oh, the song says, Way make miracle work, promise keep light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Come on, all over the room, one voice. You lift it now. Come on, way make, way make miracle, miracle work, prom, promise keep light in the dark. Darkness, my, God, my God, that is who that you is are. Who you are. Oh, you sound good. Let's raise it one more time. Come on, tell them. Waymaker, Waymaker, miracle, miracle work, prom, promise, keep light in the light in the darkness. My God, my God, that is, that who, is who you are. Listen, and you are here. So I worship you. Yes, I worship you. And you are here, turning lights around. So I worship you, Lord. I worship you. Come on, all over the room, one more time, one voice. Sing, we make, we make miracle, miracle work. work. Promise, promise, keep promise keep light in the dark, light in the dark. My God, my God, that is who, that you, is are. who you are. Oh, 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 come on, tell them, we make, we make miracle, miracle work. work. Promise, promise keep light in the dark, in the dark. We worship you, and you are here. You turn your lives around. I worship you, Lord. Yes, I worship you. Come on, lift up your hands this time and call them Waymaker. Waymaker, miracle, miracle work, promise keeper, keep light in the dark. In the dark. your worship in the room. Oh, come on, lift him up. Come on, we honor you. We give your name glory. Come on, we give your name praise. We can search, never find anyone like you. Come on, say, way make miracle work. Promise keep light in the dark.
Um, you misplaced your keys. Amen. Hallelujah. Up next on program, we have official greetings from our evangelist, Rhonda Rippey, Southern Region International Youth Department Chair Lady, as well as President Larry Lewis, who is our president. After him, we will have greetings from Bishop Wright from Tennessee Southwest as well as greetings from Dr. Charles Chandler, Tennessee State Coordinator. Give them, hand, give them a hand as they come in that order. Will y'all help me to do something? Come on and bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Oh, bless that wonderful name of
Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We give honor to the Lord who is the head of our life. We thank God. Hallelujah for his presence right now. We thank God for our presiding bishop and chief apostle, Bishop J. Drew Shear. Come on, Southern Region. Let's celebrate our leader. Let's celebrate our leader. Amen. We honor the general board, our saintly mother, Mother Lewis. We honor our international youth president, President Nathaniel Green. Come on and celebrate him. We honor our international youth chair lady, Evangelist Vandalin Kennedy. Amen. Chair Lady Kennedy wanted to be here but had scheduled something a year ago. And so she has been texting me uh, because she was a little off sorts because she could not be here. And, but I told her, we understand. Amen. And we want to celebrate our regional president, President Larry Leapin Lewis. Come on and give it to him. Come on, Southern Region. Let's celebrate our leader. Let's celebrate President Lewis. Amen. We thank God for his vision of bringing our regional rally to Mason Temple. Amen. What a blessing to be in our home place. Mason's children come home. Amen. I often tell people in the southern region or in the other regions that you are a part of the southern region because the Church of God in Christ is headquartered here in the southern region. And if you're a part of the Church of God in Christ, we are deputizing you on tonight that you're a part of the southern region. Amen. We celebrate all of our uh, bishops that are here, every pastor, every elder. Amen. We celebrate our supervisors that are here on tonight. But we celebrate our jurisdictional presidents and our jurisdictional chair ladies who have helped us gather each one of you. And young people, we're so glad that you came to the Southern Regional Rally. Amen. And on this week, we have, we have prayed all week long, but we've been on a 21-day fast. And we have encountered many things, and President Lewis and I, every time we turn around, seemed like something was happening. But we thank God, hallelujah, that he brought us here. Amen. And we're going to praise and magnify the name of the Lord. Because God is worthy to be praised. So tonight, Southern Region, it's officially our regional rally. God bless you. Come on, put those hands together and let's bless the Lord. Come on, put, bless the Lord. Come on, act like you come to get something from the Lord. Hallelujah. We give honor and respect to our residing bishop and to all the uh, members of the general board and to all the bishops that's here and to all the uh, uh, national leaders and uh, jurisdiction and presidents and chair ladies. We thank God for you. Thank God for our own leader of the youth department. Let's give it up for President Superintendent Nathaniel Green. Come on, Southern Reason. Let's greet him here. Come on, get him on your feet and let's give it to him. Let's give it to him. He deserves it. Amen. He's our great leaders of the youth department. We thank God for him. We thank God for my own wife here, Missionary Eva Lewis. Thank God for all them supervisors and all the chair ladies. We thank God for each one of you. Amen. Look over and touch your neighbors and neighbor. I come too far not to get my miracle. I believe it's in this building. If you believe it, put your hands together. Put your hand together. I don't know what you're looking for, but heaven is in the room right now. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. We want to uh, officially welcome you to the southern region. And I need y'all to do one more prayer for me. 
I heard, I hope it don't got back up, the internet is down, and you know we scream live. So we want to scream, we want the bishop, our bishop, to be screamed, amen, in this southern region. Yes. We come to honor him tonight, didn't we? Yes. I said, didn't we come to honor him? Yes. Amen, amen. All right, I want y'all to be prayerful, and let's expect God to work a miracle in this place. God bless you. Next, we will have greetings from Dr. Desiree C., Tennessee Assistant State Coordinator. Give her a hand as she comes. Amen. Amen. I bring you greetings in the house tonight. I give honor first to God, who is the head of my life. I give honor and deference deference to our presiding bishop, Bishop J. Drew Sheard, and the first assistant and second assistant presiding bishop in the general board. I also honor General Supervisor Mother Barbara McCoo Lewis, the assistant general supervisors and Mother McCoo Lewis's cabinet. Additionally, I would also like to recognize and give honor to our international AIM chairman, Bishop Linwood Dillard, who is in the house with us tonight. Amen. And to the International Youth Department President Nathaniel Green and to our chair lady Vandalyn Kennedy in her absence in honor to all AIM department leaders. We are here because of our amazing regional leadership. So we give honor and deference to the Southern Region President, President Larry Lewis, our beloved Father Lewis, amen. Our regional chair lady, Rhonda Rippey, amen. My name is Dr. Desiree C. I serve as the Assistant State Coordinator for Tennessee and as the Tennessee Eastern First Jurisdictional Youth President. I honor my bishop, Bishop Felton M. Smith Jr. and our supervisor, Mother Jereen Montague Hicks. Amen. It is truly a joy and a privilege to welcome each and every one of you to this iconic Mason Temple Church of God in Christ. This has been a much anticipated Southern Region Rally, amen. So as we gather here in this historic sanctuary, I'm reminded of a story of Joshua in Joshua 4, where the Israelites crossed Jordan and took 12 stones to set up mon monuments in remembrance of God's faithfulness to the children of Israel. I'm specifically reminded of verse 21, and it says, When Joshua spake unto the children of Israel, saying, When your children shall ask their fathers in time to come, saying, What means these stones? I guarantee there are several young people who are here in the house asking, What is the meaning of this place? And this place serves as an extraordinary reminder of God's faithfulness to his people. It's a physical representation of God's unfailing presence, people of God. So while we are here, it is my hope that you feel very welcome. But I also charge you with this, that you teach our young people just how good God has been. We are still standing. We have not lost hope. God has been extremely faithful to us. And I think about the statement when I look back over my life and I begin to remember all that God has done for me. My soul cries out hallelujah. So on behalf of all the Tennessee jurisdictions, we give you a heartfelt welcome. And we say, come on and let's praise God because God has surely been good to us. God bless you. Thank you. Amen. We thank God for President Lewis and Charlie Rippey with that greetings. We also thank God for Dr. C for her greeting. Amen. She sounded like she wanted to preach. Amen. Yeah, I'm going to celebrate it because that's my jurisdictional youth president of the Tennessee Eastern First Jurisdiction. Amen. Amen. We're going to move on in our service. We're going to have our presentation of our Young Women of Excellence 2023. Amen. After that, we're going to have a musical selection from our Southern Region Youth Choir. Then we'll have the Ministry of Giving by Bishop Designee Jason Jones, and then Observations by Brother Christopher Knowles, and another selection from the choir. Amen, in that order. Amen. Our 2023 
Miss Southern Region YWE, Miss Michelle Miles from Historical Louisiana, Eastern First. Come on, let's celebrate our young woman of excellence. Miss Miles also competed in the Koji Girls Rock Ceremony on last year during our International AIM Convention. And we celebrate her for representing our region. We also want the young ladies that are going to be uh, running on this year, if you all will stand and just wave at everyone. Amen. We have Mississippi and Louisiana and Alabama representing on this year. Thank you. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Come on, everybody, put your hands together.
Come on, Holy South, if you want the Lord to send it on down, why don't you just jump to your feet and put your hands together? Everybody that wants the Lord to fill us one more time. Come on, you gotta ask him. to feel you pass it down your row and tell them Lord fill us once again is the Holy South. Do I have anybody in the southern region that want the Lord to feel you once again? Oh, come on, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, something good that I cannot explain is getting ready to manifest in my life and it's gonna leave me speechless and my enemies are gonna testify that God is with me that's the wrong neighbor find you another neighbor and say neighbor something good that I cannot explain is getting ready some of y'all don't know what that means. That means what you've been praying for, God's going to give it to you tonight. Some of y'all don't know what that means. That means what you've been waiting on, God is getting ready to release it. Yes, sir. Some of y'all still don't know what it means. It's what's been spoken over your life. It's getting ready to move from prophecy to manifestation. Find you another neighbor and say, neighbor, something good that I cannot explain. Getting ready to manifest in my life, and it's gonna leave me speechless. And my enemies are gonna testify that God is with me. If you brought God with you to the southern region, why don't you jump on your feet and shout, God, God is with me? With me now, come on and give him a praise because he's on your side. Come on and give him a praise because he brought you here from Mississippi. Because he brought you here from Alabama. Because he brought you here from Tennessee. Come on, open up your mouth and give God praise. Oh, yeah. Come on and give him glory. And while we're standing, come on, let's celebrate our presiding bishop and chief apostle history is being made tonight in the southern region no other region in the iyd is going to be able to say that they had the presiding bishop of the church of god in christ worldwide in their regional rally if you love bishop j drew sheard wave at him and tell him we love you bishop and to each of these general board members that are present on tonight Amen. Thank God for Bishop Jerry Maynard on tonight. Amen. Thank God for Bishop. Every time I turn around, you don't know where he's going to be. Amen. But we thank God for Bishop Elijah Hankerson on tonight. Oh, come on, Southern Region. Let's thank God. 
amen for these leaders amen our general secretary is in the house on tonight amen all the way from the greater maryland jurisdiction we celebrate bishop joel harley Lows. amen and to all of these national officers look at your neighbor and tell them i thank god for you oh some of y'all ain't looking at nobody find somebody better looking than you are my sister down there just looked around like it don't get much better than this if you can't find nobody better looking, find somebody looking tonight and tell them, I thank God for you. God. Amen. I know we've got some other regional presidents are here. Mid-Northern Global is here and the Southeast region is here tonight. Amen. Of the youth department. But I don't think it get any greater than President Larry Lewis. Yeah. Oh, Southern region, you ought to make some noise. And listen, you can't be so in love with President Lewis that you hate Mama Lewis. Come on, let's give it up for Lady Eva Lewis. And to the greatest regional chair lady. No offense, Chair Lady Jefferson, but we in the Holy South. Let's give it up for Chair Lady Rhonda Rippey. Amen. And to all of these jurisdictional presidents, amen, and these chair ladies, it's hard to believe, Southern Region, that it's been seven years since I've been in your regional rally. Amen. But I feel like clicking my heels like I'm Dorothy in Kansas because we're in Mason Temple and I can say there's no place like home. Oh, anybody glad to be home tonight? Amen. We thank God that we stand on these hollow grounds and I guess I feel like the late Bishop Lewis Henry Ford, he says something gets in his feet when he would step on these grounds. Um, when we see what God has done with a people that would simply tell God, yes, Lord. When we see what God would do with a people that would become the children of the wheat. When we would see what God would do with a people that would become Mason's children. And no, we don't worship Bishop Mason but we thank God for it was one man's yes that turned this world completely upside down. And so we thank God for it. Can we make some noise for our online audience that's literally joining us from around the world? Oh, come on. You can do better than that. Amen. If you're online and you're joining us outside the region, just type the name of your state. Amen. In your city. Amen. In the comment section. And in fact, if you're not following, amen, the Southern Region IYD on Facebook, you need to go there right now. And in fact, I want to encourage those of you that are here. Amen. I'm going to tell you to do something. Get your phone out real quick. Amen. I want you to go to the Facebook app. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to tell you to do that. Go to your Facebook app and I want you to go to the Southern Region region IYD if you're not following us I want you to follow us if you're following us already I want you to give us some hearts and not only do I want you to give us some hearts but I want you to give us some likes and not only do I want you to give us some likes but I want you to give us some shares because it's your likes and your shares that help us to get this gospel message around the whole round world and where would we be in the International Youth Department if we didn't have the greatest president in the whole round world and that of Superintendent Nathaniel Green? Come on, Southern Region. Let's celebrate our international president. Amen. Tonight, my job is very easy. Um, it's very easy because I found out a long time ago um, that building youth is better than mending men. In fact, I got my start in the International Youth Department in uh, these regional rallies. And how befitting is it that the man that started the regional rallies in the Church of God in Christ is here with us right now. I started working in the International Youth Department in 1998. I was just a very, very, very young man and was given an opportunity to serve in my jurisdiction and Bishop J. Drew Sheard saw something in me to allow me to work in the International Youth Department. I see one of my former bosses now that is now a part of the Episcopacy of our church. Amen. Bishop William McMillan. 
he used to be over the chairman, him and Superintendent Mark Whiff, of the jurisdictional youth presidents. And you never know where God, and you never know where life, and you never know where ministry, and you never know where the leadership of the church is going to take you. I don't know about you, but I think the Church of God in Christ is the greatest church in the whole round world. Oh, I thought I was talking to some Mason's children. I'm going to say it again. I think the Church of God in Christ is the greatest church in the whole round world. I still didn't get the response I think we should have had. We need to teach our children and our young people how to appreciate the greatness of our church. In fact, there's a lot of movements that are starting and a lot of movements that are bustling and a lot of movements that are doing a lot of things. But if you research them, most of them got their start in the church of God in Christ. And so young people stay with the church of God in Christ. Come on, tell somebody, stay with the church of God in Christ. Listen, I want to talk to some mother. I want to talk to some father that has brought your young people to this regional rally. And um, President Larry Lewis is an incredible leader. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say President Larry Lewis is an incredible leader. And I understand the burden that is on him. It's a burden when you step out on faith and do what has never been done. I've been thinking about it and um, I need Pastor Derek Hutchins here to help my memory. I don't recall us ever having a regional rally in Mason Temple. I don't believe we have, Willis. I don't believe we have. We've been, amen, to Garden of Gethsemane. We've been, amen, to Pentecostal Temple. But it is because of this visionary leader that has brought us to the world headquarters of the Church of God in Christ. Some of our young people never would have had the opportunity to come into this place had this leader not brought us here tonight. And so I want to talk to some mothers. I want to talk to some fathers. I want to talk to some youth leaders. I want to talk to those of you not on this platform just yet. You know I'm coming to you. But I want to talk to you that are in the audience and you that are listening to us. In fact, this is what I need. And I don't need you to mumble. I don't want you to grumble. I don't want you to think about it. Because when you look at all that is going on in our world, we need to continuously plant seeds into the next generation. I'm going to say that again. When we look at everything that is going on, the fact of the matter is if we don't celebrate them in here, there's a drug abuser that's ready to celebrate them out there. There's a pimp that's ready to celebrate them out there. Amen. And we need to let them know that they don't have to turn over their life. I am a product of regional rallies like this. And never before in my life did I think that I would be standing where I'm standing. I have never did anything in the worship experience at any time in Mason Temple. Oh my God, the stand where the late Dr. Martin Luther King delivered his last message. It was not Masonic Temple, it was Mason Temple. To stand where our, president, our chief apostle and our senior bishop and our founder, Bishop C.H. Mason, worked miracles, signs, and wonders. Amen. In this place, somebody shout this place. And so tonight, I need um, at least a hundred covenant partners um, that are in the audience that would partner with us. In events and services like this, oftentimes the giving is given by those on the platform. And they're going to do what's been asked of them to do. But I need at least 100 of you that are out there, amen, to plant a seed of 100 dollars. That's what I want to challenge you youth leaders. I want to challenge you youth pastors. I want to challenge you parents. I want to challenge you to sow into the ministry. And you know something about the southern region, if you really know it, they don't wait till they have a regional rally to do youth ministry. But youth ministry in the southern region goes all year long. Somebody shout all year long. Anybody been on them Sunday night prayer calls? Yeah, I've been there. Anybody been on the virtual training that President Lewis has brought to empower us to reach the next generation? And I want those of you that will trust God to get your purse, get your pocketbook, get your wallet. I feel the spirit of the late Bishop William Haven Bonner.
want to help him. He won't cook. Not that I need another meal, but I need another one of his meals. And God man, bless you I'm and thank you for joining us by our here at the historic Mason Temple. And we're here about the southern region with Red. And we are glad that you have joined us this evening. I am Isaiah Collins. I am and we are so excited and glad that you have joined us this evening. I've been enjoying service. How about you? Service has been amazing so far. We have so many national officers that are present. Southern region, you bless. Amen. I want you all to remember all these national officers that are here. Remember them. They came into your region. It is time now. It is time now. They say in service is a part where everybody can play the part. It is time to give. Put in the comments, it is giving time. The Bible says, give and it shall be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and run. Shall men give unto mine, yours, and your good. To give will be posted on the screen. Can you tell us how we can give on the screen? Anybody from Gold Tide in here tonight? Thank you, $200 for my 
Good for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and making progress while standing still. Yes. That's good. That's it. so so when you set your alarm to get up for morning manna, uh go grab your bagel, go grab your sauce and biscuit, and make sure you back to be here for these empowerment classes that start at 935. And you can also see that we're not skipping any generation. We're not skipping. Uh, we have something for everybody that will be here. Everybody. If y'all see me in your hotel trying to get a bag, mind your business and just follow me on to service. Amen. 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 All right. Oh, this is my favorite part. I think this is mine too. My favorite, 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 favorite part. Tomorrow at 11 20. Yes. We are going to have the Judah Jamboree. Yes. I know you said you had to say something about Mississippi. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But I'm representing the great state of Tennessee. And I need everybody from Tennessee here. Okay? Don't be over there. Don't be over there. I need you here because we are going to. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Listen, Tennessee, I need y'all here. Of the Battle of the States, y'all, this is one of my favorite parts, okay? Yeah, I, well, well, see, I don't know about, I don't know about Tennessee, because, I don't know about Tennessee, because right. I think y'all just are housing us so that y'all can watch us win tomorrow. Yeah. That's all right. Y'all just hosting us. So, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Mississippi, we want you here tomorrow at 1120 uh, with the Battle of the States. And we going to win. We going to win. So, everybody, uh, put your youth to bed at an appropriate time so you can wake them up in the morning so they can be here at 1120 for Judah Jamboree. Yes, because I really want to see Louisiana and Arkansas and Alabama. Yes. Look, social media. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Social media been coming hard. I mean, you know, hey, I want to see y'all tomorrow. I want to see all of our states of this great region. There's no other region like the southern region. No other region like no the southern region. region. I want to see y'all. Let's, let's see what's up. Yeah, I want to see y'all lose. <laughs> We have a high time in the Lord schedule on tomorrow, 12 o'clock noon worship service. Uh, it's going to be amazing, going to be very impactful. We will hear from our international uh, youth president, none other than Superintendent Nathaniel Green, and he is going to address us. He's going to address the southern region. And, and y'all, he preached us happy last year. He did. And we're only going up, and so I can expect, and we can expect, Every round goes higher and higher. So he's going to preach us into a frenzy this year in the historic Mason Temple. Yes, yes, yes. I'm super duper excited. Y'all to hear from our president. He took out the time to come down and see about the southern region. Yes. So that we can hear from the Lord, what the Lord has to say through our president. And we are super, 
super duper special. And again, if you have not given, yes, we have given you ample amount of time. Ample time. So, so you see, but we gonna tell you one more time. We gonna we gonna tell you. The like the old folks say, one more again. We one got you one more again. One more again. Because y'all, your seed is blessing our youth department. Yes, it, it is. is. helping us in ways you would never imagine or understand. Our young people need your seed because this is going to be a blessing. And when you have a seed in the ground, God has no other choice but to give you a harvest. Yes, so, yes. Again, the cash app. The yes. The again. Dollar sign. S-R-I-Y-D. Say one more time for the people in the front end of it. Right. And the ones that's outside and in the bathroom, we gave them enough time to come back. We gave them enough time. They've been lollygagging out of the highway. Come on in here, sit down. Come on in here. Dollar sign, S R I Y D. Go ahead and tell them to give a five. All right, give a five. You can pay give a five to Southern Region IYD. And also, you can pay by Zelle to 899 Old Chula Road, Lexington, Mississippi. 39095. Again, give, 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 and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Shall men. See, look, y'all. See, y'all think this is a game. I got a testimony for y'all. Come on, testify. You see, I was in service, and, and the man of God said to give a particular amount uh, after the word was released. Mm -hmm. And y'all, let me just tell y'all. Come on. Before 12 o'clock noon that same night. That's a word right there. Three, uh-oh, $300 dollars popped up in my account. Did it? Now, I'm not going to tell y'all what was in there before the 300 <laughs> <laughs> We but, just went God for the free, okay, for the Trinity. The yes. Of all the ghosts, we just went God for the Trinity. Yes, so the we're Trinity here to place. tell you all that if you give, God will give back to you. And uh, we just want you again to be a blessing to what God is doing in the southern region. And you've got the testimony. Hey, the Lord is going to give it. He's going to double it. He's going to triple it. He's going to multiply any way he sees fit. Yes, he is. Trust God with your seed. I promise you, he will not let you down. He cannot lie. He can't. He cannot make a mistake. He can't. He got you. Go ahead and sow your seed. He got you. Go ahead and sow that seed. And not all the time is seed giving. Not all the time the returns are financial. Get, not, not come on, time. come on, tell us since you. No, no, come no, on. no, you slipped on it. Go ahead, go ahead, keep walking. You can receive peace in your mind, uh, and that's that's better than any amount oh of money goodness. that you can ever have. Uh, you can have peace in your home. Uh, God will give you favor on your job. He will give you favor in school. Young people, we want you to give because God will give you favor in elementary, middle school, high school, junior college, university, it's and not, beyond. No. Listen, he'll wipe out student debt, uh, student loan. In Don't my make me right dance in here. Okay? <laughs> Student loans wiped out. You won't even know how it happened. I yes. mean, he does that type of thing. Healing, strength, all this type of stuff. It doesn't have, like you said, it doesn't have to always be financial. Yes. But he will bless you in ways you would not imagine. Yes. Things you won't even see happening. You'll just do. You'll just wake up to something just happen. Yes. He said before 12 o'clock noon. It's 12 o'clock. That's 12 o'clock, 12 noon, 12 yes. midnight. That's 12 o'clock. I got a little anointed, and I'm just going to say that right there. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. He can, he can turn that thing around by before midnight. He can, uh-oh, I feel that. He can turn it. <laughs> we need to go ahead and end this if we end up having children. <laughs> Look. Yeah. He, he'll turn that thing around, okay? What, what does General Board member uh, Bishop what Elijah Hankins say? Every time, every time I... I Every time I turn around, he keeps on, he keeps and he will on. keep he on will. blessing you. Again, yes, we finally God. want to give you one more opportunity to give into the work of the Lord by cash app, dollar sign, S-R-I-Y-D, Give the five Southern Region, I-Y-D, and Zelle to 899 Old Chula Road, Lexington, Mississippi, 39095. Again, we are grateful for your seed. We're grateful for you tuning in and watching and praising the Lord with us, with our young people, with our youth department. This is such an honor. This is such yes. an amazing time to even do this in the historic, the historic. temple. Y'all, it's all in here. Yes. Yes, it is. It's all in here. Yes. This place has been prayed out. And so to have the region, the Southern Regional Youth Department here, that's amazing. It's 
an amazing opportunity and I love it here. Yes, I love it's it, amazing. Yes, it is. And it speaks to the vision of our Southern Regional President, Pastor Larry Lewis yes. and their ch and the chair lady, yes. uh, um, uh, chair lady Rhonda Rippey, their vision and where God has brought us into this holy place. I consider this a privilege and an honor. A privilege and an honor. What they used to say, a plum pleasing privilege. A plum pleasing privilege. Hold, hold on. Say that three times. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. A uh, plum pleasing pleasure. pleasure. Oh my God. Yeah, there we go. Y'all, our youth choir is jamming. They are singing. They They're are jamming. singing. I like it. Yes. I like it. The choir is singing. The band has been playing. Look, it's been absolutely amazing. amazing. Uh, and we're just excited to even hear the voice tonight of our presiding bishop, Bishop J. Drew Sheard. And I, are you expecting to hear a word from the Lord? Oh my goodness. Y'all, I'm so excited to hear the voice from our leader, our presiding bishop. This is an amazing occasion, amazing historical moment to have our presiding bishop here yes. with us in the city of Memphis. We just finished our week of April call. Sure and did. still took the time yeah, out yeah. to give us a word from the Lord. Y'all, that is absolutely amazing. It's an honor. Yes, not only that, uh, he was a former youth president. Yes, he was. And, and so that should tell you right there that the best department in the world is, is the, the youth, youth department. department. And look, can't nobody else tell you different. Can't nobody else tell you. Look, before you get to evangelism, before you get into missions, look, we all come up through the, we come through the youth department. We come through the youth department. And so we can the see sunshine even band. Sunshine Band. The yeah. purity. Purity class. The youth choir. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we can even see through our leader that God will raise up great men, even from the, the youth, department. youth department. Yes, yes. So we're excited. We're excited to hear the voice of our leader. Uh, and again, if you've been enjoying service on this evening, put in the comments, I'm enjoying service. I am enjoying service. Well, either way is cool. I like I'm because it's a little shorter. You don't have to work as hard. <laughs> either way it go. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. Y'all got, got it. Y'all got it. Y'all, this is an honor standing here before you yes. to do this, to come to you again. We are grateful for your seat. We're grateful for you tuning in. Yes. Yes, we are so grateful to be here again in the historic Mason Temple. Mason's children coming home. The children of the week. Yes. Mason's kids. This is such an honor, y'all. I'm just in awe. Like, I have literally been anticipating this moment. Yes. I've had butterflies in my stomach all day. Just, you know, I'm excited. I love this. I am a church baby. I am a college yes. baby. Yes. I, born, raised, you know, hey. Yeah. I love me. Oh, yeah. This See. my roots. I love me. See, my mama, when she was pregnant with me, she was she was rolling on the floor with me. <laughs> <laughs> Not rolling on the floor. Oh, yes, she was. I mean, you came out the stomach speaking in tongues. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. So we're so excited, and we thank you for this time of giving. And right now, we want to turn it back into service and, and put in the comments, let's have church. Let's have church. Amen. Back into the service. The Lord bless you all on this evening. I give honor to God who is the head of my life, to our presiding bishop and the general board, to all the bishops, our president, our international president, our regional president, and chair ladies, supervisors, all of the Lord's people. God bless you all tonight. These are your announcements, and I'm not about to give these announcements alone. Y'all are going to help me give them. Amen? amen? That was a little quiet. Amen? amen. Somebody shout, morning glory. At 8 a.m. from 9.30 a.m., we will have morning glory. Our gospel message will come from none other than our own regional president, Pastor Larry Lewis. Amen. Amen. And following morning glory, we will have an empowerment hour from 9.35 until 10.40 a.m. Children's ministries overview from 10.45 till 11 o'clock a.m. And then we will have a youth spotlight with Superintendent Warren Robinson at 11 a.m. and 11.20. We will have the Mississippi Judah Jam. I'm sorry. It's, it was the light. I'm sorry. I read that a little wrong. I did. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to fix it. We will have the Mississippi Judah Jamber. I'm sorry. 
We know Mississippi has won so many times now. I'm sorry. I, I wanted to release that, praise God. But we will have the Judah Jamboree on tomorrow. The Judah Jamboree, amen. Is Mississippi in the house? Praise the Lord. And following the Judah Jamboree, we will have a worship service starting at 12 o'clock p.m. And we will hear the gospel message from our international youth department president, the superintendent, Nathaniel Green. Amen. And we're going to have a good time on tomorrow. Y'all ready to say we had a time at the rally? Amen. We also have another announcement that says anyone who has items for the Me Urban Initiative 1, y'all are asked to bring them in. And I believe they're collecting those over there to my left. I do want to talk about tonight, though. Somebody shout tonight. tonight. After service, we will have flames of fire. Flames of fire. Amen. That will be the... YMM, YPN, and music ministry, and that will take place in here. So Flames of Fire will be inside of here. Then we will have the Young Women of Excellence, the Power Room, and the Young Men of Valor, Boys to Men, and that will take place next door. So if you go out of these doors right here, that is where that will take place. And that, again, is the Young Women of Excellence, the Power Room, and the Young Men of Valor, Boys to Men. And the Young Adults Mixer, and the Collegiate Ministry Fellowship will take place in the Bishop's Chamber. If you go down some steps out of this way, you will run into the Bishop's Chamber. Amen? At this time, we will have a special announcement by our chair lady, Nakemia Brown. Amen. Y'all clap a little bit louder than that for me. Amen. 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 <laughs> All right. An exciting, hold on, my message went away. Look at the devil. Y'all see that? That's the devil. While I'm pulling this announcement back up, one more time, let me, I'm going to give y'all a chance to embarrass yourself, Tennessee. Tennessee, make some noise. <laughs> Somebody paid the church van note. <laughs> Louisiana, where y'all at? I see you, chair lady Albert. Who am I missing? Hmm. I'm missing Alabama. Alab am I missing Alabama? I ain't missing y'all. <laughs> I ain't missing. But I know without a shadow of a doubt that me, the MI, crooked letter, I, crooked letter, I, hump back, hump back, I. Well, what can I say? But y'all have another chance tomorrow to embarrass yourself. But Southern Region, are y'all in the house tonight? I said Southern Region, are y'all in the house tonight? Amen. Well, this is my little Easter speech. An exciting new opportunity for you to make your voice heard has just hit the International Youth Department. 
the International Youth Advisory Council is back, but better, as the Youth and Young Adult Coalition. This new IYD commission under the leadership of coordinator Lauren Sanders and co-coordinator Linwood Jones exists to bring you a more innovative and exciting youth and young adult department. The Youth and Young Adult Coalition will consist of three representatives from every region across the globe, collaborating to enhance and uplift the IYD, be a representative for the youth in their region and grow as leaders and innovators. So the region, you are the first to get an opportunity to make your voice heard. Later this summer, you will have the opportunity to select your youth advisory, youth adult coalition representative, but you must register this weekend to participate. See one of our many volunteers to sign up. Registration is required for voting, and if you don't see any representative each and every one of you are looking at me, amen? So y'all find me on tonight if you want to, again, register in this innovative, again, initiative, no longer the IAC, but the Youth and Young Adult Coalition, amen? Amen. 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 Let's say amen for the choir. Praise the Lord, everybody. Thank you. It's my birthday. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on now. I'm going to give you an opportunity to say the greatest name you know on the count of three. One, two, three. Yeah. Oh, that sounded like some. We'll say Jesus, in preschool Jesus, that we Jesus. know the greatest name that we Jesus, know. Jesus, One, Jesus. two, three. Jesus. Now, come on. If you love to call this name, put your hands together right here and right now. Can we have a little church? Come on, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, we come in this house tonight to have some church. Put your hands on. Right, right. 
Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Demons begin to flee at the mighty name of Jesus. Yokes are destroyed at the mighty name of Jesus. Chains are broken at the mighty name of Jesus. If you need something to turn around for you, that's the name to call. If you need a healing in your body, that's the name to call. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus.
we know how to act, okay? Let's sit down. <laughs> Let's sit down. And I give honor and reverence to my bishop, Bishop William Dean Jr. and his first lady, Lady Joanne Dean. I also give reverence and honor to my local leader and father, Pastor Stephen R. Collins. And I am so grateful to be representing Northern Mississippi on tonight. And next we will have special presentation by Brother Christopher Knowles. We will have the introduction of Spreaker by Brother Terrence Carpenter II of Tennessee Central. We will then have a musical selection. A musical selection by the Southern Region Youth Choir. Then the gospel message by Bishop J. Drew Shear, the presiding bishop and chief apostle. I release myself and in the hand of the next to come. My news reporter down for a second. I got one more dance. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey. Glory to God. news reporter by day and I can get a, a, a breaking news to come to my phone at any moment and I just got a notification that there's a fire in the house and the fire department can't put this fire out and the fire specifically in my feet so I'm gonna give y'all 30 seconds to try to put that fire out in your feet you ready I'm gonna give y'all 30 more seconds now you ready Five, six, five, six, seven, come on. That's right, that's right, that's right. That's what we came here for. These kids could be in a club somewhere. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. To make a correction to the announcements, the flames, not the flames of fire, the young adult mixer, it will be next door also. Amen. 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 Well, I told y'all already that I'm a news reporter and I did get a special notification that someone here that is in our midst is the one that's responsible for the regional youth rallies. And I'm not going to take up the time, but if you would look at your screens and we have a special presentation. 
Brother King, is that this fight is bigger than you and I? You see, Goliath. Energetic, charismatic, touchable, creative, uh, connecting, because he has a way of pulling people together and then resourceful. Before presiding bishop, there was Chairman Shear. Before chairman, there was President Shear. Bishop J. Drew Shear succeeded as international president after Bishop Charles Brewer. He served as the catalyst in expanding the scope of youth ministry with creative and innovative youth programs. One thing in particular, the regional youth rallies. And we started the regional rallies and we went from city to city. And I can truly say that every city we went to, most of the time, there was no room for the young people. It was very explosive and connecting the various regions and areas, you know, and, and giving a fellowship that may have been somewhat rare, but needful because it's, it's that kind of peer indulgence that wins young people to Christ. Bishop J. Drew Shear was always on the cutting edge of youth ministry. We stand on his shoulders. Of course, he stood on great shoulders, but we were able to accomplish a lot of great things, organizational structure, new dynamics, and because of his leadership, we all were better. His leadership as youth president not only touched the youth, but it carried from generation to generation. It helped us to realize the importance of not just having one generation working in this department just because it's the youth department. Yes, he's called the young because they're strong, but he's called the more seasoned because they're wise, and, and you need wisdom and strength working, working together if we're going to continue impacting the next generation and ensure the church has a future. Leading future leaders of our church. I can remember as a young college student, he had become the national president of the uh, uh, youth department of our great church. And uh, eventually, while I was still in college, I became the jurisdictional president and went to one of the meetings for the youth department. And afterward, uh, he at that time being the president came up and he called my name. Now, I never had any formal introductions, uh, but it was obvious that he had intentionally uh, identified and tried to figure out a way, who is this young guy? And I've decided that I'm going back to Jesus. I've decided that I'm going to get my joy back. Say I! Tonight, the Southern Region, Ever since uh, Bishop Shear instituted regional rallies, uh, the southern region has been one of the top uh, regions. Would like to honor you for your willingness, passion, and obedience to God. It's because of you that thousands of youth gather across the nation on fire for God. Thank you, Presiding Bishop J. Drew Shear. And at this time, I give it over to our regional president with a special presentation. We call him forward bishop. I called Bishop Sheard and asked him, would he be willing to come to the southern region and allow us to honor him? And the night is his night. Amen. Come on. We wouldn't be here if it had not been for him, the vision that God had given him. And I want to say, Bishop, I'm anticipating that to see what God's going to do greater after presiding bishop. I believe that the church of God in Christ got a great future upon his leadership. All right. I would tell you, going to present this. Come on, my brother. This. Heavy. It's heavy. That means I have to hold it. You're not strong. You're not strong. <laughs> I'll just turn around and read it off there for him. Watch it. Watch, watch that. Come on. I got it. I got it. All right. Okay. This award of recognition is presented to Bishop J. Drew Sheard, our presiding bishop, a leader whose vision impacts a generation and the world. This April the 12th, 2024, from the International Youth Department the Southern Region, President Larry Lewis Sr., Chair Lady Rhonda Rippey.
Good evening, saints, and good evening to the church of God in Christ. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. First, I would like to give honor to my Lord and my God, Jesus Christ, who is the head of my life, most definitely. As for everyone else in their respective places, the house has already been addressed. But however, thank you for all that you do and all of your hard work to keep God's house in the order that he desires it to be in. I've been provided a task on tonight, and I'm going to do that and go on and sit down because I believe in it. And that is to present to you our leader, our presiding bishop, none other than the Bishop J. Drew Sheard. Um, bishop Sheard was elected as leader in our first ever all online election that was held virtually due to the COVID-19 pandemic on March the 20th, 2021. He is the first presiding bishop of the Church of God in Christ from the state of Michigan and is the proud pastor of the Greater Emmanuel Institutional Church of God in Christ, one of our denomination's largest church in Michigan. He has previously served as a member of the general board and as the president of the Kojic International Youth Department from 1997 to 2001. He also has served as the international president and chairman of our Kojic AIM convention from 2004 to 2012. Bishop J. Drew Sheard is married to Grammy Award winning and member of the legendary group, the Clark Sisters, Miss Karen Clark Sheard. Together they have two children, Kiara Kiki Sheard Kelly and J. Drew Sheard Jr., as well as three grandchildren. This is a man of great stature and a great man of faith, and we are very elated to have him with us on tonight. And for that, we just simply thank you because you didn't really have to be here. Um, I would love for us to stand and receive him after the choir would have finished their selection and let the seed of the word be planted in the fertile soil of our hearts so that it may sprout up in the fruits and we may enjoy it. God be with you. Hallelujah. How many know there is no greater name than Jesus? Hallelujah, hallelujah. We bless your name, Lord. Oh, there is a name that's the place I can run and be saved. There is a name that can heal, calm my soul. Oh, there is no greater name. 
you, tell him thank you. If the Lord ever made a way for you, tell him thank you. If the Lord ever opened a door for you, tell him thank you. Lean over and grab somebody by the hand and tell them after all I've been through. Tell them after all the devil tried to do to me. Make it emphatic. Tell them I still have my joy. Come on and give God some praise. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be accepted in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. And the people of the Lord said, Amen. Amen. Please be seated in the presence of the Lord. Thank you so much and may God bless each and every one of you. It is a blessing to be here. I'm thankful that I am saved and sanctified and filled with God's precious Holy Ghost. And that with the mighty burning fire and I do speak in tongue as the Spirit give utterance. I think that it is important that you identify who you are. I am a holiness preacher. You are sanctified people and we ought to act like we're sanctified. Uh, Look at somebody and tell them act like what you are. Yeah, yeah. I am so thankful to my dear friend and brother, the one and only Bishop Brandon Porter, our secretary of our general board. Thank God for Bishop Elijah Hankerson and Bishop Jerry Maynard, general board members. Let's praise God for them. Come on, let's do better than that. Thank God for our general secretary, and we praise God for our international president of the youth department, the superintendent Nathaniel Green. I want to praise God for this regional uh, president uh, who has tremendous vision. Who would have ever thought of bringing a youth rally to Mason Temple? Come on, let's appreciate, I want y'all to really do this. Appreciate President Pastor Larry Lewis, my friend and brother. Bless you, Pastor Lewis. He is a visionary and an extraordinary man of God. We thank God for his leadership. We praise God for other regional youth presidents, and I think that they flew in so that they can see how um, Brother Larry Lee does this, and uh, Larry Lewis does this, and Larry Lewis is showing out tonight. Amen. And he got all these people here from Arkansas, uh, Alabama, Tennessee, and Mississippi. I thought I would call Mississippi last because that's where my roots are. (laughs) And don't forget Louisiana. Oh, show out, Louisiana. (laughs) God bless Elder Antarell McCoy, Mid-North, and Pastor Gary Lee, Southeast. What can you say about this uh, outstanding leader that has uh, led the youth department and has led the AIM convention? And I speak none other uh, than the Bishop Linwood Dillard. God bless Bishop Dickerson Wells, our Adjutant General, uh, Bishop William McMillan, uh, Commissioner, uh, the one and only, the one and only, my friend, the Bishop Jerry Taylor. God bless Bishop Ethan Sheard, and God bless Bishop Michael Golden, the Director of our Men's Ministry. And bless Bishop Nate Jefferson, our Vice President of the Mission Department. Bishop Lonnie Lynch, the one and only Bishop William Dean. Yeah. Administrative Assistant Kaimba Nolan, Vice Chairman of the Pastors and Elders Council. The uh, Pastor David Hall, National Trustee Board Member. Pastor Ronnell Jones, Youth Church Coordinator, 
all of the department presidents, superintendents, pastors, and elders. Let's praise God for this regional chair lady, the one and only evangelist Rhonda Rippey. Bless you, dear. God bless uh, Lady Eva Lewis. What a joy. We've got Mother Lee Van Zant, the elect lady of the mission department. We've got Supervisor Jereen Hicks, Deputy Adjutant Mother. We've got my dear friend, Mother Mildred Lindsay, trustee board member. Sister Takitha Carter, assistant chair lady of the International Youth Department. Regional chair lady, Sister Tasha Jefferson. Chair lady, supervisors, first ladies, district missionaries, evangelists, saints, and friends. I got everybody, didn't I? Amen. What a joy to be here and what a joy. I, we've already had church and I'm excited about the church you were having because I was watching young people praise the Lord. And I was excited about that because I think that sometime we relegate our young people as if they don't know the Lord. But I was excited to see young people praising the Lord. I was excited to see those young men come up here shouting. I was excited to see the choir start praising God. I was excited to see young men and young women praising God like they've had an experience with the Holy Ghost. I don't know about you, but until you have an experience with the Holy Ghost, we look crazy to you. But look at somebody and say, I ain't crazy. Because when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me, my soul cries out. My soul cries out. My soul cries out. Hallelujah. Praise God for saving me. Listen, I promise I'm going to be very short, but I want to leave a thought with you. I want to leave a thought with you. If you'll go with me to the book of Exodus, the first chapter, the 22nd verse, and then we'll move over to the second chapter and start at the second verse. If you'll be so kind to stand in honor of the word of God, and please uh, let me just go a few minutes because my voice is just about gone, but give me just a few minutes. Exodus 1 and 22 says, and Pharaoh charged all his people saying, every son that is born, ye shall cast into the river, and every daughter ye shall save alive. Exodus 2, starting at the second verse, and the woman conceived and bare a son, and when she saw him, that he was a goodly child, she hid him three months, and when she could not longer hide him she took for him an ark of bulrushes and daubed it with slime and with pitch and put the child therein and she laid it in the flags by the river's brink and his sister stood afar off to wit what would be done to him this is my verse of emphasis and the daughter of pharaoh came down to wash herself at the river and her maidens walked along by the river's side and when she saw the ark among the flags she sent her maid to fetch it and when she had opened it she saw the child and behold the babe wept and she had compassion on him and said this is one of the Hebrews' children. I'm going to talk to you for the next few fleeting moments. Uh, look at your neighbor and say, a designated survivor. Look at somebody else and say, a designated survivor. You may sit in the presence of the Lord. We live in this day and time when our society uh, makes attempts 
efforts to advocate safety. And my brothers and sisters, our young people are encouraged to be responsible. And, and even though we may not condone some things that society does, yet we encourage acting responsibly. I realize that many of the members of our churches may have struggles, but a struggle shouldn't define who you are as a child of God. However, sometimes our struggles help develop us into what God would have us to be. That's why you've got to be careful who you hang out with. I don't know about you, but my brothers and sisters, this has to be a season in your life where you don't want to deal with people who are trying to keep you from reaching your destiny. For it is undeniable, it is an undeniable fact that all of us have had to deal with some struggles and those struggles may define the road to our destiny but they never define who we are because God has a way of protecting those whom he has designated as survivors. In the last few years, we have observed the efforts put forth for the supposedly safety of those who drink alcohol by noting the advocacy of a designated driver. That person has supposedly been identified to refrain from participating in anything that will impair their ability to drive and act responsibly. In baseball, we have what they called a designated hitter. He is supposed to be able to hit the ball pretty well with a reasonable amount of consistency. And therefore, if the team needs a hit, he is often called upon to deliver. My point is, my brothers and sisters, is that somebody who is dependable has the responsibility of either reaching a specified goal or making sure that the rest of the team or the group meets uh, that particular goal. However, in life, sometimes we become discouraged. Is that right? Uh, and what happens? Happens along our journey is particularly interesting. Some of us have had to deal with life and we've had to deal with people who were not interested in seeing us progress. We live the life that is pleasing to God and yet it seems time and time again that the enemy attempts to thwart our destiny. I've come to tell you that difficulties may come to the person whom God has his hand on and what you need to know is that there are many plots and schemes that are created to, to keep you from reaching your destiny. But I've come to tell you that no matter how many schemes are put together, no matter how many plots have been formed, no matter what man says, if God has his hands on you, your haters can't make you disappear. Sometimes our challenge are insurmountable but I came to encourage somebody and tell you don't throw in the towel don't lose your cool don't let the enemy frustrate your purpose God's got you because you have been designated as a survivor the very fact that you are here is proof that you've been designated to survive. Help me say something to your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, I am a designated survivor. If you read if you read the Bible, we will notice several stories uh, uh, that precede our lesson text that tells us about people who had the odds against them. 
God lets us know by reading his word that time and time again he will make a way for our escape. With the stories that precede this lesson text, you will see that Isaac had two sons, Esau and Jacob. Esau, by the right of being the firstborn, was supposed to have the birth. Even though there were what seemed to be insurmountable challenges, Jacob withstood the test. You know, designated as a survivor. And when Jacob had 12 sons, those 10 older boys tried to get rid of their younger brother Joseph. Joseph's brother schemed against him because of the favor that was on his life. Do me a favor and look at your neighbor and say, you don't understand. I got favor all over my life and I need to tell you my brothers and sisters that when faith to stop you from reaching your destiny let me warn you to not be shocked by the unscrupulous things that people will do to hinder you I know there are some people you've had confidence in but don't be surprised at the crazy stuff they do when people are jealous of you. When people are threatened by your potential, they'll do anything to try to stop you. Joseph was sold into slavery and many other things happened to him. You know why? It was because he had favor on his life. I need somebody to holler at me and say favor. God preserved him and he became the governor of Egypt because Joseph had been designated a survivor. Of course as time moved on and I must rush on. Time moved and Joseph died and another Pharaoh came into existence that didn't know Joseph and this Pharaoh was threatened by the Israelites. He was threatened by the Israelites because the Israelites were the chosen people of God. Ask your name but have you been chosen? He took note of the Israelites and how they were in great number and he feared that they were much stronger than the Egyptians. The new king thought we have to outsmart them or they'll increase in number. His trepidation was revealed when he said if war breaks out they will join our enemies and fight against us. So in order for him to do something about the amazing numbers of the Israelites he relegated them to hard labor and the Egyptians put slave drivers in charge of the Israelites. They made them do unbearable chores and back breaking assignments. The king thought that by giving them such hard work, they would be too tired to enjoy their mates in the evening. But look at somebody and say, if God's hand is on you, he'll give you strength. I got to tell somebody that when your enemies start suppressing you, that's when you get stronger. When they start lying on you, that's when you become more determined. When they start setting traps for you, that's when you become more determined to be successful because God has his favor on my life. I need to tell you the king of Egypt told the Hebrew midwives Shipra and Pua when you, when you help the Hebrew women in childbirth take note of the child I want you to tell somebody today because there is something happening even in America yes you see what has happened my brothers my young brothers what has happened is you have been a threat uh, to the establishment uh, and they want you to walk around yeah, I'm going to mess up now they want you to walk around uh, with your pants hanging off your butt 
They want you to walk around young ladies with skirts that won't hardly cover you behind because they figure that you'll be distracted and won't get to the real issue. But I came by to tell you that whatever they try to do, touch three people and say, stay focused. Uh, and so he said kill the male and you gotta understand my brothers uh, that there's still an edit out to do away with our black males they don't want you to get a degree they don't want you to know how to count they don't want you to know arithmetic and math and whatever you want to call it they want to give you something and and tell you it's enough don't tell me what's enough for me let me figure it out for myself and God has had his hand of protection around our people so that our people will not stay where they used to be I was in a restaurant with some preachers just today and I looked up and saw two pretty white women walk by and I thought about where I was and I told one of the preachers I said we would get killed for just looking at them but look at somebody and say it's a different day you didn't tell the right person it's a different day we're not ignorant and we're we're not ignorant of Satan's devices but God has given us a spirit where we can stand up and face the enemy and say there's nothing you can do to me because greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world grab somebody by the hand and pull on them and push them y'all ain't pushing no Body. Pull on them and push them and say, neighbor, I'm designated to survive. And so as God would have it, God made it so that this boy floating in the river, that his own sister would go and tell his mother to come and nurse her brother. I want you to know that the reason that Moses was able to get through is because God had an assignment for him. God God had something for Moses to do and I'm here to tell the young people of the southern region don't let what's going on deter you from reaching your goal I'm here to tell you don't let the enemy tell you that you can't make it don't let the enemy sow into your spirit defeat because God sent me here to tell you that you've been designated to survive and let the hellhounds come but I've already been picked out to be a survivor when it seems like you're at your wits end I come to tell you to hold on because help is on its way my brothers and sisters a little while ago as I go to my seat I want to read a scripture that one of the prayer warriors at my church gave me when the enemy was trying to tell me that I wasn't going to make it then it referred referred me to this scripture in the second number of Psalm and the first five verses I want to read them to you so you will take on to them and stand up and be what God will have you to be it says why do the heathen rage and the people imagine vain things the kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against against his anointed saying let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us he that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh look at somebody and say God is laughing at my enemies and the Lord shall have them in derision they shall speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure I came by to tell you you and the Lord 
Lord's hand. Amen. And in the 10th chapter of John, Amen. the Bible says, no man shall be able to pluck them out of my hand. When man has reached his extremity, it's only an opportunity for God. God has already fixed it so that you'll be the head and not the tail. Tell somebody, get ready. I don't know. I don't know how bad things may look in your life, but I came by to tell you to hang in there. I don't care how hurtful it may seem. I don't care how devastating it may appear. I want to leave with you the 54th chapter of Isaiah and the 17th verse. It says, and no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. But I found something else, brother preachers. If we'll go a little bit further into the second chapter, into the second verse of that chapter, it says, enlarge the place of thy tent and let them stretch forth the curtains of thine inhabitants. Spare not, lengthen thy cords and strengthen thy sake, for thou shalt break out I wish I had somebody with me. For thou shalt break forth on the right hand and the left. Just tell your neighbor, look out now. I'm going to need some more space. Because where I am is not where I'm going to end up. It kind of reminds me, Bishop Maynard, of a conversation that I had with my dad. When things were going real bad. And I went to him and complained. And he looked at me and said, man, this thing is already fixed. And I came by to tell somebody, it's already fixed. You're going to be the head and not the tail. I came by to tell somebody what the word of the Lord says. It says, and we know that all things work together for the good of them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. So what shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who shall be against us? Whatever you're going through, remember that God's got your back. Tell your neighbor, I'm a designated survivor. Whatever they try, I came to tell you it won't work. Ask Daniel, the lions won't eat you. Ask Jonah, the fish can't digest you. Ask Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the fire won't burn you. Ask the Israelites, the water won't drown you. Ask David, the bear won't maul you. The lion won't eat you. The giant can't kill you because God has got a blessing with your name on it. I got a close here, but grab somebody by the hand and say, neighbor, I came by to tell you that you've been designated to survive. You got the wrong neighbor because they didn't respond right. But grab another neighbor and say, neighbor, I came by to tell you that you've been designated. You may get knocked down, but get back up for the Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is the strength of my life. And through it all, somebody say, through it all, I've learned to trust in Jesus. Through it all, I've learned to trust in God. Get ready. Because if you know that you've been designated, you don't have to wait until this battle is over. But you can shout right now because I already know that I'm 
I'm going to win. Grab your neighbor by the hand and say, neighbor, in case you don't know, I'm a winner right now. Neighbor, in case you don't recognize, tell them I got favor all over my life. There's favor. That's why I'm going to survive. Let the hellhounds come. Let the liars lie. Let the backbiters bite. You're going to make it because Jesus went on Calvary some 2,000 years ago. He died there. He stayed on the cross so that you could be a winner. They nailed him in his hand and nailed him in his feet. Jesus said, among many things, he said, I thirst. And it's amazing to me how in the world did water get thirsty. But he stayed there, went on and died. They put him in a borrowed tomb. And I heard that there was a coalition between death and the grave. And death said, I'll sting him. But you got to make sure you hold him. But early Sunday morning. Early Sunday morning. Early Sunday morning. I heard death hollering at the grave and said, I thought you were going to hold him. And the grave hollered back and said, I thought you were going to sting him. And Jesus kicked out the bottom of the grave and said, all power. Yeah. All power is in my hand. I got power to heal your body. I got power to make intercession for you. Do me a favor as I go to my seat. But help me preach to somebody. Grab them by the hand and say, neighbor, whatever you're going through, God told me to tell you. It won't last always. You coming out of this thing, snatch that hand and say, come on out. Y'all ain't snatching nobody. Snatch that hand and say, come on out. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy. Joy cometh in the morning. Get that hand again and say, neighbor, hang in there. Don't give up, but wait on your chain. Because they that wait upon the law shall renew their strength. They shall mount up. Get somebody and say, I believe I can fly. They shall mount up on wings of the eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Get ready. Tell somebody, get ready. You got the wrong person. Tell somebody, get ready. Tell them you ain't seen nothing yet. Eyes have not seen is have not heard neither hath it entered into the hearts of men tell somebody good thing good thing tell somebody else a good thing God's got a good thing for you will you get ready to receive it will you get ready to receive it will you get ready to receive it grab that neighbor one more time and say neighbor let's go a little higher tell them neighbor let's go a little higher if you don't want to praise him for what's about to happen in your life praise him for me Tell somebody, pray them for me. Pray them for me. Oh, you shouting 
by the wrong person, grab somebody by the hand and say, neighbor. Y'all didn't say it like I told you to say it. Grab somebody by the hand and say, neighbor. If I were you, I would praise him in advance. If you can't see it before you see it, you never will. I got to go. I got to go. But catch somebody's eye on the other side of the room. Your neighbor's tired of you bothering them. Catch somebody's eye on the other side and say, neighbor. Y'all ain't saying it with no music in your voice. Tell them, neighbor, if I were you, I wouldn't wait until this battle is over. But I'd shout right now. I'd shout right now. I'd shout right now. I'd shout right now. seconds and give him praise. Hallelujah. Hey. Praise him like you know your future is secure. Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen. Nobody is walking tonight. But on this evening, I want each and every person under the sound of my voice, thank you. I want you to join hands all over this building. Tonight, you're standing beside somebody who the enemy has tried his best to destroy their future. He's tried his best to hinder their progress. He's tried his best to hold them shackled down. Again, nobody's leaving. Let's close that door. Let's stop this bad habit of leaving before church is over. All those of you in the back, please stop walking. Close the door, somebody, please. We just heard a great word from our leader. And right now, what needs to happen is somebody needs to give their life to the Lord. This isn't the time to walk. Somebody say, this is the time to pray. We're in a rush to go nowhere but to hell sometimes. Ain't nowhere to go but to make up to but to build an altar where you are. And tonight I want you to take the hand of the person that you're standing beside. And I want you to begin praying for them right now. That whatever their situation is, whatever they've been facing. That God would minister to their heart. Come on, pray for that neighbor. You don't know what they came here with. You don't know what they left at home. You don't know what they're dealing with. But one thing I do know, I know a God who is able to perfect that which concerns you. Come on, pray right now for that brother, that sister. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for my brother, my sister. I don't know what they're going through, but I know it's been difficult. I know the devil has tried his best to stop their progress, but the devil is a liar. I pray tonight, Father, that you bring them into victory. I pray that everything the enemy has put on their back, that you would loose them from that burden. Loose them from that burden right now. Come on, squeeze that hand and say, in the name of Jesus, I command you to be delivered. 
Come on, in the name of Jesus, I command you to walk in victory. In the name of Jesus, every hidden struggle that you've dealt with, I command you to be delivered from it right now. Be healed tonight. Be delivered tonight. Be set free by the power of oh, da, 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 Bohosha, by the power of the blood of Jesus. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for healing. Thank you, God, for putting your hand on this generation. And we give you glory now. Even now, while your eyes are still closed, I want you to pray this prayer with your brother, your sister. You might not have to come down to the altar. You can build an altar and say this prayer with us right now. We're going to make confession concerning what it is that we believe. I want everybody to say this with me. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. I believe you are the son of God. You died for my sins. You were buried in the grave. But three days later, you rose with all power in your hand. And because of your blood and your sacrifice, somebody shout, I'm saved. Come on, shout, I'm saved. If you're glad about it, put those hands together and give God praise. Life now is sweet and my joy is complete. You help me. For I'm saved. I'm saved. Just look at about three people tell them I'm so glad I'm saved. Hey. I'm so glad I'm saved. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Listen, we're moving. But whenever you hear a word like what we've heard tonight, it's only right for you to sow. And I don't want you to move because it's not going to take us long to do this. How many of you believe in the future of our young people? Let me see your hands. I want you to sow into their future tonight. I'm going to ask on this evening that every person under the sound of my voice would simply grab a $20 seed right now. Every parent, I want you to jump up with it right now. Every youth leader, I want you to jump up with it right now. Those of our leaders who are on the stage today, I'm going to give another hundred dollars and any leader that wants to sow a man, $50, you can sow that with me on this evening. But those of you that believe in our young people, I want you to get that $20 seed and stand wherever you are. There are some youth tonight that will grab that $20 seed. I want you to stand with it wherever you are. Hallelujah. Stand with that seed wherever you are. I am a firm believer that whenever we take our substance and we give it to God, I believe the word of the Lord. Luke the sixth chapter, he says, given it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over. Will God cause men to give into your bosom? Tonight, I want to encourage you. Let's prove the word of the Lord to be true with what it is that we give. If you don't have that $20 seat, I want you to get the best thing that you do have. It might be 10, it might be 5, it might be 2 or 3. But I want everybody to stand with your seed tonight. Whatever the amount, stand with it all over the building. That means everybody should be standing with something. Amen. Everybody should be standing with something. I want you to grab that $20 seed and stand wherever you are tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are a few more of you. I'm waiting on you. Come on. Stand with that seed tonight. Amen. God shall never forget your labor of love. But tonight we're going to show that we have faith. I want somebody to say this. I believe God. I've discovered one of the reasons why it often gets tight in the service in moments like these. is because many of us, we preach like believers, but we live like atheists. We talk in the attic, but we live in the basement. But tonight I want to encourage somebody, it's time for you to wake up your faith. Somebody say amen. amen. It's time to wake up your faith. There's something God wants to do in your life. Come on, lift that seed as high as you can all over the room. Father, tonight we thank you. We thank you for every gift. We thank you for every giver. 
And Father, we pray tonight that as we sow seed, as we plant this into the ground, as we give in response to that great word that we've heard from our chief apostle, we ask tonight, Father, that you would bless the seed that we sow. I ask tonight that it will come back to us greater than how we gave it. I ask, Father, that you would cause us to see good measure pressed down, shaken together, running over where you cause men to give into our bosom. I thank you even now for unexpected checks in the mail. I thank you for blessings that we could not anticipate. I thank you for debt cancellation. I thank you that you're shifting our lives because of what we sow. In Jesus' name we pray. And all the people of God said amen. Somebody shout out, never be broke. Another day of my life. I want you to come on this evening and bring that seed. Amen. From wherever you are, you can come. Amen. The ways to give are on the screen. Those of you that want to give. Amen. The ways to give, you can give via Zelle. You can give via Cash App. You can give via Givelify. Amen. But on tonight. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Bishop Designate Jason Jones, sowing a hundred dollars. That's one hundred for me. Those of you who are online, don't let your absence from this building make you absent from the moment. If you're watching us online, I invite you to join us in sowing. If you believe in the future of our youth and our young adults, I want you to plant a seed in the ground tonight. Secure the favor of God on their life. Come on, wherever you are, the ways to give are listed right now on the screen come on give right now from wherever you are oh we cast down every stronghold sickness and poverty must cease for the devil is defeated we are blessed we're blessed in the sea, we're blessed in the field, we're blessed when we come and when we go. We cast down every stronghold, diseases and poverty must cease, for the devil is defeated, we are blessed. As you're sowing that seed tonight, uh, our chair lady, chair lady Vandalin Kennedy sends her deepest regard she wanted to be here on this evening but had a major event amen that was on the calendar that prevented her from being here but bishop sheared and president lewis chair lady rippy she sends her love on tonight and left her offering so we want to thank god for her on this evening for the devil is defeated we are blessed we are Let's get ready to stand. Let's get ready to stand. We're getting ready to go home. Listen, don't leave. Don't leave. We got the Young Preacher Network, the Young Women's in Ministry, the choir. We got choir singing. We got Young Preacher preaching. We got Young Women speaking. We got the Young Adults across the way. We're asking all the young men to go to the young men's a valid and all the young women to go to the young women of excellence. Don't leave. We got something for you all the way up to 1 o'clock. <laughs> young folk don't go to bed that early. Amen. Amen. So I'm asking everybody that can come and be a part of this. Amen. B Bishop Hinkinson, go and dismiss us. Come back in the morning. God bless you. What a wonderful word that we have heard tonight. Let us pray. Gracious Father, we thank you for the powerful message that we've heard from our chief apostle. We thank you for these tremendous youth leaders. And we thank you for the young people that have worshipped you tonight. Now, Father, as we go, give us traveling mercy and grace. And we'll return giving you the praise, the honor, and the thanks. For we ask it all in Jesus' name. And all the people of God said, amen. God bless you.